they, so, so, so I, I meant to ask you. So during this time, are you the only child, or do you got brothers and sisters? You don't. So I, my, I do have two brothers and one sister. Two brothers but, and one. Are they older? Yeah, a lot older. They're lot older. They're all in their forties now. Let's put it like that. From your on your dad's side, then. My dad's side from the first marriage. Okay. But when you were here in Texas, it was just you. Just me. Okay. Me and mom so and dad. So you're the only child, and they're trying to, okay. Yeah. So did you have friends at the time? At that time, no. Mm. I didn't have friends. So um, you were always I actually, I actually up in the house? I actually got bullied. Yeah, really? I got, I got bullied a little bit here and there, yeah. Wow. Um, I got bullied a little bit, and then um, I just started kind of being cool. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I guess cool. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. I started just calming down and then I started right. making friends. And I started making real good friends. One of my f- best friends, um, his name is Nick. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then another one is Brandon. Mm-hmm. I mean, we all separate. But yeah. one of them, Nick, he used to live like two blocks away from my house. Okay. And we became friends in elementary school mm-hmm. all the way through to like if I'd say college. Okay. But he, he didn't go to college and I kind of did. But I'd say mm. we've been friends that long, okay. if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Third grade till, right. shit, I call him right now, and yeah, we'll go hang out. Gotcha. So he's, he's one of my first friends. Okay. And then after that, kind of domino effect, like, hey, meet my other friend. Okay. And then I started developing friends into, like, uh, the second time I was in third grade. First time I was in third grade, uh-huh. no friends. I was by myself. Second time, it was like a kind of redo. Yeah. Got friends. I was learning to cope. I was learning English. Right. I was learning everything. Okay. You know. And I tell you, your friends. I guess they helped you with English to a certain degree. A little bit. Yeah, you, a certain degree. You want to talk to them because mm-hmm. it's your friends. Yeah. So then I started forgetting Spanish, and uh, my <laughs> mom uh, kind of beat my ass a little bit. And because uh, you're forgetting it. Yeah. So yeah. were you the kind of kicks? I heard this. Uh, I heard it from friends. I know people that Vietnamese and Spanish. Like they're like, when you come home, you're only gonna speak this in the house. Nah, was it kind of like okay? No. Cause you know you got my dad. He talking English yeah, all day. You know okay. he don't. He didn't want to talk Spanish. Yeah. Some parents. Some parents want to keep mom, that culture. Mom in the tried. House. Mom yeah. tried. Just I didn't go with yeah. it. <laughs> I didn't right. go with it. But now and now that I'm older, I will right. talk Spanish. Yeah. Now she just when she's pissed at me, she'll just yell at me in Spanish. Yeah. 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 So uh, yeah. So are you saying you got a little bit of your attitude, a little bit of fight from your mom? Probably. Yeah. Well, well, people say you're more like your dad or more like your mom. I don't know. You're not sure. I'm not sure. I'm calm like my dad. Okay. Uh, So he's the calm, cool collective. Mm -hmm. She can be the firecracker. Like that. I mean, like that. So I'm just trying to imagine how them two coincide like that. She's like, yeah, yeah. He's like, yeah, I just ignore you. I don't know. (laughs) They they got their thing. Yeah, yeah. You know? They got it worked out. Right. And uh, now it's just, now you got. I guess I am a firecracker in a way. And yeah. then you got my mama firecracker. Uh huh. So my dad has to deal with it, but he, and the ADHD in me comes out. All right. But I've learned to cope with it because I've been off my meds for a long time. Yeah. Uh, I last stopped taking it sophomore year in high school. Yeah. So you got to so yeah. think, I jumped from the, the little thing mm-hmm. to when I hit middle school, I went up to Vive to, I just upgraded the dosages. Mm-hmm. Then when I hit high school, I had to go up to Vivance. Oh wow! And then I, I knew at that time what's up. I knew what drugs were. I knew mm. everything. So I said, I started. I low key just started selling them to people that right. wanted to pass their test because I hated ah. them so much. So I was like, dude, I'll sell these. I don't like these. And my mom caught gotcha. on, and she she wasn't having part of that because to her she was like, you a drug dealer now? <laughs> and I'm like, to a degree I am, yeah. but to another degree I'm not. I'm just yeah. getting rid like, of I these. I just don't want to take it. I just don't want to take it. And they're willing to pay for it. Yeah. So she said, well then. This is your last doctor visit, blah, 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 and that's it. You were cool with that, like, okay. I was okay, so I said, whatever. Boxing, at that point, I was like, I was already in boxing. I was like, boxing already helps. 